So I made this video about one month back when I came back from exams. I was dejected and disappointed with my performance in the exam and I had to do something about it. And in that very moment, I gave myself a motivational speech, a pep talk, and that changed my perspective just like that. That idea was simple, straightforward, and it changed everything. That is the idea that I want to share with you in this video. Hope you guys This video is for anyone who's feeling lost. Because I certainly am kind of feeling lost right now. A lot has been happening recently and it's so easy, man. It's so easy to get overwhelmed. And I just want to share this one story with you. It was one of these days and I was watching this podcast on the Joe Rogan show. The show was with this guy called Joko Willink. You see, Joko here is not your regular guy. Okay, Joko is from the army. Specifically, he is from the Navy SEALs. He's actually the Navy SEAL commander, which means that he's the leader. He's the one who takes charge. And being a leader, he says that it's not easy because when things go right, you have to pass on the credit. It's, it's, it's a team. It is because of the team that we had won. It is because of the team that everything went right. But when things go south, it is up to you as a leader to take responsibility, to take ownership. And that was the main point that he was talking about. Taking ownership. You see, being in the army or during the war, you know, you take ownership, which means that you don't blame others. You don't say it is because of him. You don't say it is because of that. You don't make excuses. We just accept the thing for what it is and we just move on to the next step. And so understanding this and looking from this lens, right? Looking from this perspective, I can tell you that all I was doing was I was complaining. Complaining about the exams, complaining about how that I don't have time, complaining about all the things that are wrong. Not realizing that I am not actually doing anything to solve the situation. Let's face it, the first step in solving anything is to accept it for what it is. And I was not doing that. So what I've learned is that you can have thousands of these excuses, all these excuses to say that it is not your fault. But in the end, you only need one reason, just one reason to accept the situation for what it is and freaking take action on it. Yes, things might have not gone the way we wanted it to be. That is fine. What is not fine is that we are wasting our time on it. That's not fine. Let us focus on the problem and take ownership of the situation. Freaking take some action and do something about it instead of contemplating of, about why things didn't go the way we wanted it to be. So for me personally, I feel that coming to medicine is a hard subject. There's a lot to study. And I can give myself all the reasons to not study it. But in the end, the only thing I need to do is to start studying the subject, right? And for that, I just need one reason. So I'm just gonna accept the situation for what it is. Just accept the fact that Maybe I do suck at community. And guess what? I'm gonna do something about it. I have to. That is the only way. Sometimes it is as simple as just sitting my ass down and studying community every day, maybe two hours a day, just doing it every day, every single day. That's it. It's as simple as that. So I wanna end this video with one quote, and that is that the best time to plant a tree was 10 years ago. But the second best time is today. The second best time is right now. What are you going to do? What you waiting for? Let's freaking go. So that is it from my side. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. It really does go a long way. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.